Hi everyone, I am coming to you today with a special occasion. Today is March 17th, 2019. It would have been my granny's 96th birthday. So what I am doing is I'm releasing three balloons. I'm going to try to show you a little bit of it, but I can't promise you. I have a black one. I have one that's multiple colors saying happy birthday. And this one right here is going to be kind of hard to see. But on this one, on the front of it, it says, I love granny. And on the back of it, it says Pollyanna. The job she last worked at used to call her Pollyanna. So, if you see this balloon or this video, you're going to know who I'm talking about. So, we're going to go outside, me and you, and we are going to let the balloons go up in the air. Now, I used, well, I still watch DD4L, which is Dancing Dolls for Life, which is Bring It. I'm sorry. I said that totally wrong, but I'm so used to hearing them say DD4L. So that was all in my head. <laughs> but um, it was when the lady had ended up losing her baby. And um, they had the memorial. And the balloon, what they call, followed, her, followed them home. Now, I don't know how that worked out. If that was supposed to be in the, the setting of the movie. Or, or should I say the show? I don't know. But... I always want to know where my balloon lands. Could it land at one of her friend's house? Could it land at one of my family members' house? The whole thing is one balloon, which is the gold one, has information about her on there. So, I am going to let these balloons go up. And wherever they land, nobody knows. It could be in the wires up in the air. <laughs> uh, on top of somebody's roof. It could be somewhere anywhere. So you're going to come with me and we're going to watch these balloons go up. Okay guys, we are getting ready. As you see the wind is crazy. It is going to have these balloons going everywhere. I remember at my granny's farewell, we sung the song this way. I'm just going to do the chorus. Granny, Granny, you know we love you. Oh, you know we love you, Granny. Granny, you're the queen of my heart. Your love is like tears from the start. Granny, we just want you to know love and you like food to my soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here we go, guys. Let's see where it lands. I'm trying not to let it go into the wire, so hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's gonna go into the wires, no, no. I knew it, it was gonna go into the wires. I was too close to wires. So we're gonna see what happens. Is they gonna stay there? <laughs> but we'll see if they be there tomorrow or they be there another day because it could be a possibility that the wind could make them go somewhere else like what it's trying to do now <laughs> but guys thank you for being with me as we let my balloons go up into the air and now they're beating up on each other but let's see what happened next year bye hello everyone it's the next morning if you really look at that little object it is in the air still spinning but instead of it being 
three balloons is only one. So the other ones must have broke free last night. Hi, I'm coming to you with my March 11th through the 17th week. This is the one that I really didn't exercise this week. Um, my word is encourage. I'm reading a nail structure and chemical and product chemical. Um, I listen to Deliver Me. Um... I'm feeling antsy, you know, just want to get it done. And the bottom one says, watching, I'm learning about YouTube, YouTubing, I put. Now here on Monday, it says, positive, trying to focus it. And it says, Mind, Vive, Life. Okay, it wasn't a good day. It was slow. Just trying to concentrate. Those are my bills for this week. Um, reflecting on living. Here is Tuesday. We only worked half a day. And today it says not good. <laughs> That's because we only work half a day. Now this is a song by Yolanda Adam, who I love so dearly. She makes good music. And it says something like, they said you wouldn't make it so far and ever since they've said it it's been hard but never mind that night you had to cry cause you had never let it go inside you worked real hard and you know exactly um, what you want and need so believe and you can never give up you can reach your goals just talk to your soul and say I believe and a little sad face is because of the quota for this week it's been hard lately because we're trying to get everything right and it's just been crazy you know with our work it's kind of slow because of the season you know the people are trying to take care of other things right now this song touched my heart. I mean, it's just been ringing in my head. Oh, goodness. Really the whole week. But this day, it really touched me. I'm going to try to attempt it because it's a new song. It says, Lord, deliver me. Because all I seem to do is hurt me hurt me and then she's gonna go up an octave higher lord deliver me and i'm gonna leave it right there because i can't get there and her name is leandra i think that's how you pronounce it um johnson she's amazing i love that lady to death I just love her music. I know she may go through whatever she's going through, but I'm still her partner in crime, if you want to call it that. We still cool. You know, everybody goes through something. 
but I will not turn my back on her because her music is amazing. I did get a green, meaning that that person became a um, a client of ours. And as you can see, I got off at 5.30, went home, got my hair done. So I had a little touch up on my hair. And the Deep Faux L Untold Stories of the EOR. So that was that type of night. You see, this is trying to pop back out. Uh, oops, I'm not. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. <laughs> Just sticking my hand there. So why they move it? Okay. And my focus is still trying to find a new apartment. And it's just trying to find what I'm looking for. That's the situation. Because I'm trying to be pacific. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. And no matter how you feel, Speak to the Lord and the words and you will feel, you will be healed. Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm not going no further. That's a challenging song because that girl could sing. She can not sing. She can sing. <laughs> she is the bomb on singing as well. She's one of them sisters that can just really put that point there. And it says, um, looking inward, making more money, meaning that I want to make money where I'm good all the time. And I love watching my lottery dream home and 2028 20, play. We went to church and praised the Lord. And after church, the girls and I went to my kitchen for lunch and got takeout wings and fries. And we watch. I can never say this name right, so I'm just going to pull it down there. And it was featuring the lady that I was talking about, Deliver Me. And it's a daily gratitude, some good singing. Now I'm going to stop right here. I guess I can tell my pastor's business a little bit because he did see it on Praise Vision Live. But what ended up happening today is our pastor was trying to explain something to us and he was a little emotional. And it was so weird how, why he was saying what he had to say. I was able to look on Google real quick and a song that I hadn't talked about in so long popped in, you know, it popped in my mind and then I Googled it. So what I'm going to tell you is the name of the song is Cry On. And I'm just attempt to do a little bit. It's by Commission. It's when your burdens seem to weigh you down Or the Lord seems too far to carry on Just look to the hills You would find your help which cometh from the Lord Hold on 
even when you feel you can't go on even if you have to moan let your soul cry out to the lord cry on god understands your tears he knows how much that you can bear fate is crowd he'll hear cry on when there's nothing else to say so he'll wipe all your tears away now i don't know if i went off i don't know if i went another direction i don't even know but that was the song i had wrote it on a piece of paper and normally when church is over the pastors deacons deaconesses whoever they go straight down the middle and then they they like um go stand by the door which is close to our foyer and they stand there and they greet you as you leave out so the thing here was so i had to go to the bathroom really really bad so i kind of left before everybody and in my heart you know something just kept telling me to give him this you know and i don't i'm i'm thinking my pastor might be a little older than me i don't really remember because i don't remember him as growing up but it's the pastors that we're getting some of them are younger. So, we'll talk about that another time. But the whole thing there was, for some reason, I'm hoping I helped him. I'm hoping that I touched his heart with that song. So, I came to him, and then I gave him the note, and I said, you know, I like told him to bend down to me because he's really, really tall. And I said, I don't know what you're going through. But some way this song came to my heart and I want you to listen to it when you just feel that you just can't make it. Just listen to it. So knowing him, nine times out of ten, he probably gonna listen to it regardless. But I felt that I could help him with that. You know, he can I know he's he's going through something, you know, because he explained part of it to us. And it really hurt him. And for me to see a man that hated the fact that he had the um, his his wife and his son, um, they had to leave. So I don't know what all that means, and I ain't trying to get in nobody's business. But the point of the matter was, this man loved his family so much that it hurt him. Just they had to leave, and uh, it just touched me. So it was a wonderful day because I seen a person who really show that they love their family. A lot of, you know, a lot of people might have not really, it didn't, wouldn't have bothered them, but it bothered him. So I just want to give y'all that little piece of information, how I feel that I might have helped him to get through this challenge. Okay, today is St. Patrick's Day on Sunday the 17th. So if you go down, you're going to see Happy Birthday Granny. Happy Birthday Granny. Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday Granny. Happy Birthday Granny. Happy Birthday. Now, if Granny would have still been living, she would have been 96 years old. I'm so proud of her. Right here, you can barely see it, but I cooked some broccoli, cauliflower, and corn, and chicken all mixed together. It was mmm, mmm, good. 